You have to truly be an enormous fool to believe that human nature is essentially good. People who believe that believe it because they want to believe it. I don't know why they want to believe it. But they do, obviously, because if there is literally no amount of cruelty, sadism, barbarity, evil in general committed by human beings to, against other human beings, that would change their mind. There is no, no level of it. People are basically good, but you can walk into a, a family and murder the father, the mother, and the three children, as I have the story here of one such family in, uh, in Israel, a mother who was slaughtered by terrorists in Israel alongside her husband and three children sent a final WhatsApp message to her Australian friends to say her family was safe. When you see the picture, all I could do is think of the parents, if they're living, and I assume they are. It's a young couple. Can you imagine... Those of you who are grandparents, can you imagine your child murdered, his or her husband murdered, your daughter or son-in-law, and your three grandchildren? For many, the greatest joy in their lives, the greatest loves of their lives, wiped out, nothing left. The Lake Cubs, or I assume it's, uh, let's see, is that, yeah, Lake Cub, L-A-C-O-B. That's the name of the couple. The Lake Cubs started to panic and tried contacting everyone they knew in the village to find out what was going on before they received the heartbreaking news that the safe room had been raided by militants. Tamar, her husband Johnny, their six-year-old daughters, Shachar and Arbel, and their two-year-old son Omer, had been murdered by Hamas terrorists. Daily Mail uses the word terrorist. The New York Times uses the word militant. Militant. <laughs> militant. How do you qualify to be a terrorist? Our hearts are shattered, Yishal wrote on Facebook on Monday. An entire family was killed by evil murderers who shot the children and parents simply because they were Jewish. That is my article today. I beg you to read it. German Nazi, Nazism's successor, Islamic Nazism. And no more than every German was a Nazi, is every Muslim a Nazi? Of course not. But there is Islamic Nazism. The celebrations of, uh, on the left in the world, celebration by Palestinian supporters of what happened, if that doesn't clue you in as to the moral degradation the idiots who write about the cycle of violence, like this fool who happens to be a professor of Jewish studies at UCLA, an enormous fool, gives you an idea of how it doesn't matter what department at UCLA or at most universities, you have a fool teaching your children. The cycle of violence, inability to say these are monsters, barbaric savages, can't say that. There were people on the left who opposed saying, calling these people savages or, or inhuman because it dehumanizes them. Their behavior did not dehumanize them? Is there anyone who could be called these words? Well, 
Do you have, uh, Sean, do you have the, uh, the audio I sent you? Oh, okay. It was in uh, Sydney, Australia, pro-Palestinians, mostly Muslims, Arabs, I assume many of them Palestinian, were ch chanting, gas the Jews. For those of you who have bought the gigantic lie that anti-Zionism is, is different from anti-Semitism, I hope this is clarifying. I've written about it and talked about it for all of my life. There is no difference. When there is only one country on earth that you support the eradication of, and it happens to be the only Jewish country on earth, one can infer that you are an enemy of the Jews. If, if you were a, against the existence of Italy, you wanted Italy eradicated and supported those who wished to murder all Italians, it would be fair to say that you were an enemy of Italians. Okay? Even anti-Italian. You have to go to college and, and be brainwashed into believing that I can support the eradication of Israel and the murder of its inhabitants, but hey, don't think I'm an anti-Semite. No, you're a Jew lover. Well, I would one think that. And it should be obvious that the eradication of every Jew is one of the aims. The Hamas charter speaks of the Quranic verse that if you see a Jew behind a tree, kill him. Yeah, you know what? People, people like to remain naive. People can't stand facing evil. So what they do is they concentrate on non-evils. Right? They won't call Hamas evil, but they will call America evil. American racism. Yes. Oh, uh, it's an upside-down world. I don't know if it has ever not been. Well, it's more upside-down today than at least in America. That, I, that is clear to say. Also from the Daily Mail, Representative Rashi, Rashida Tlaib sparks outrage as Palestinian flag still hangs outside her Capitol Hill office despite the terror attack by Hamas on Israel. You realize that proportionately to the Jewish population of Israel to the United States, now that it's a thousand, it is approximately 33,000 Jews killed in uh, in Israel. It would be the equivalent if they had our population. So it is uh, way transcends, as it were. Nine twelve families were not wiped out on nine twelve in the same way. The glee, the grabbing of young people, the shooting them while yelling "Allahu Akbar." Do you understand what a sick form of religion these people have? God is the greatest, so I will murder a family. God is the greatest, so I will abuse young the young women at uh, at this festival. When they beheaded people, remember ISIS? The left has been so effective in scaring people into being called Islamophobes that people don't say the truth. There is a proportion of the Muslim world that is evil. There are many wonderful individual Muslims. That is a given. Of course that is true. But to deny the obvious because you're scared that the left will call you a name is not an ode to the human spirit, shall we say. 